Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. If you saw yesterday, we didn't get to do the aquarium, but somebody... Did you get the ticket? Why are you talking about this? No, I'll put the ticket on top of your jacket. That's so you didn't forget it. So I guess she paid for it this time, so I gotta keep a hold of the tickets or something. I'll put it on top of your jacket so you can have it. So you wouldn't lose it. That's exactly why. I will get it. <laughs> choke her okay forget what I said about her running up the steps uh, got the tickets and um, we don't have anything planned today because I was gonna do Saucy's Pizza in Hillsboro it's really not set up great um, I actually asked them for to do a challenge for a hundred dollars just a promotional thing that's what I usually try to do depends where it's at sometimes it's up to 500 depends where at and what kind of challenge um, but it wasn't too far away, so I just charged 100 for a promotion. Then I found out that they only had like 2,000 people in their town, a little small mom and pop pizza. So I was like, I'll just do it for free. Well, I called to talk to the owner today. They did the challenge a couple times already, but then they said, we're not even set up to do the challenge. So like, this is free advertising. If you're going to get the challenge out, it'd be a pretty good time to do it. But it's not happening today. So I guess we just won't eat anything. But we um, will go eat somewhere. But there's nothing really else planned today but take some of the little items, the clothes that people brought me back to the house and maybe go live later. So might want to check the Friday night live we did and the Sunday night. I don't think anything else. Oh, the car fobs might be done Monday. So hopefully they'll be done Monday. Somebody actually, Mike, your car guy Meyer actually took a picture and sent it to my inbox and said, Hey, they took a picture by my car up at the Nissan Sun Trip. So uh, that was uh, pretty nice to, uh, to see in my inbox. They, they thought I was there. They said they were stoked, that, but my car was just there trying to get the key fobs done. So I really appreciate uh, that. They said they just started watching my videos on Wednesday. So that was a real quinky dink for him. Um, okay, well, we're going to head on out of here and um, go to the aquarium and um, find what else we're going to do today. I guess you'll see. How you doing? Pretty good. Sorry, I can't help myself, but I keep thinking of that movie. John Wicks. <laughs> my buddy Lloyd, the first one, my buddy Lloyd, he was at work. He goes, they even killed the dog. He's really into uh, pit bulls, but it was funny how he said it. He goes, they killed everybody. They even killed his dog. So there you go, Lloyd. If you're watching this video, shout out to Lloyd, AKA my girlfriend calls you snacks. Not because you look like one, because she can see you, but because uh, because uh, I took you to Sam's that day and all you bought was snacks. I told her, man, he bought like $100 of snacks. So, all right, let's get into this um, aquarium. Hey. <laughs>
John Tickerman, your conductor and tour guide today. We start our journey on September 1st, 1894, when the first train departed Union Station. St. Louis was introduced to the world in 1904 when it hosted both the Olympics and the World's Fair. I didn't have my World's Fair. Look, the stadium and fair exhibits are right outside our windows. St. Louis was booming in the 1920s. By 1940, we reached over 800,000 residents. The 60s brought us the Gateway Arch. And today, well, let's take a closer look. I've been tinkering with this old train for a few weeks, and if I've got this right... Hold on to your feet! Here we go! that so don't worry um, I will not tell too many people um, this is mainly I guess for small small kids um, not for big kids and big small kid adults um, yeah don't know what else to say about this I'll just uh, shut up <laughs> Okay, uh, we're about to put our hands in the water. Well, I'm not, uh, but the, the, the fish uh, clean uh, the dead skin off your hands, which I just had my hands burned, so I'm not going to do it because uh, I still got open uh, open wounds. But uh, Tosh is going to do it and put her phone in the water so we can get an up-close uh, look at these uh, fish. Okay, guys, look at me. Hands like this. Where's everybody? I got eye contact. Open your fingers up. Stick your hands in very slowly. The fish will come to you. You can go down to the wrist. It tickles. What they're doing is they're eating the dead skin off your hands. It's kind of like a manicure. We're going to leave our hands in for a couple of seconds. Let you get real good and clean. And then we're going to pull them out. Leave your hands in. We're going to do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Pull your hands out slowly and they will release back into the tank. No, Very slowly. They let go. They don't like to come out of the water. Okay, thanks for visiting the Dr. Fish. We have soap and water clean up to my left. I think all the hands-on stuff was uh, was pretty neat, even though I couldn't do it. Uh, Tasha liked uh, to do that one in, in the future here of this video. You'll see her do a few more things. So the interactive part of it uh, was pretty neat. Some of the stuff was just a lot of space with just a few things in it. Um, I know it just opened. Hopefully they changed it around a little bit and get some better uh, better attractions in here. But it was something to do. It was something to do. I'll try to be positive about it. These guys can hold their breath for anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. Wow. This is <laughs> They're pretty friendly. They do like coming up and saying hello. Just make sure that you don't try to touch these guys because they will mistake fingers for worms. <laughs> Touching roaches. <laughs> Guys, um, sorry to disappoint. Um, I was disappointed in this. Um, this shark exhibit sucked. Uh, most of it was LED TV screens. I could sit at home and done that on Shark Week. Uh, the sharks that did have weren't that sharky. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Um, they weren't that huge, that's what she said. So um, the hands-on stuff was pretty good, but the rest of it pretty much sucky sucked sucked. See that big fish right there, guys? I caught one like that, but I had to put it back. 
I, I didn't want their kids to, to, to be without their parents, so that's what I did. She probably would keep it. I have to go back. I do not know what it is about sea um, horses. I really do enjoy them. It just the, I don't know, they look kind of weird. And they have that Cubert look, I guess. And I don't know. It's just like an algae mixed with the Cubert. I don't know if you're that old, if you know what, that, what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm going to let this uh, music play and, and let you see the angelic movements of these jellyfish. Okay, this is the end of it. This is the gift shop, so let's get out of here real quick. We don't want to see any of this. This is this is not fast forwarded. This is me running through the gift shop because I'm broke. I cannot pay for nothing. Hopefully they don't think I stole something. <laughs> she has to deal with this all day, so. gonna head out and go to Pappy's barbecue they're only open 11 for today and it's the type of restaurant where they're just gonna cook what they have and they might close early because they are a really well-known uh, barbecue place around here but it actually is Memphis style barbecue in st. Louis so we got a we got a Memphis in what do we call it Memphis in Memphian a Memphian no <laughs> uh, that's what? okay Memphian Memphis in a Memphian. Well, where's the, I don't that don't y'all just made that word up too. They make a lot of words up in Memphis. A Memphian. Okay, let's get off that. Uh, yeah, you gonna talk to Well, she can she can critique them better than somebody else, I guess, because a Memphian. All right. You are a because it's all the letters in the Cokia and an N. So Memphisian. So you Memphisians out there. <laughs> That's she's smart. She's smart. Ooh, see that? Got that on tape. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if it's yesterday's vlog or the day before, but um, they played music in the background, which I had to cut the music off, but it was in tandem with 
uh, the fire that was shooting up. Uh, I still had a weird feeling from me being in the fire from every time this came off that it was just any kind of fire is just uh, not sitting pretty with me too much. But uh, I wanted to get a videotape for you guys. So I sat there um, through this uh, with my P S T D P T S D P D T S P D S T D. Whoa. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it was, let me shut up because I, I was saying something here. Hold on, let me back it up. That's what she said. With me having a fire, I'm kind of traumatized still by watching this, for real. <laughs> See, I just mentioned that, so I was not lying today. Um, today when we did this, I think today was Sunday, so I do not lie on Sundays, especially Sundays, especially the first Sunday of the month. Okay, I don't know what she's gonna eat, but no pork for her. I might try to get something that's not pork so we can um, try, try eat, you know, so you can try what I'll have, huh? They got a barbecue salad. A barbecue salad. She's trying to say I'm fat without saying that. You the one that we want to eat. You said today you want to eat. Okay, I'll have a salad, guys. <laughs> no, don't eat. Okay guys, we ordered, what did you order now? Um, I picked two, I ordered burnt ends and pulled chicken. And then and I got- Fried corn on the cob and green beans. I got fried corn on the cob, potato salad for the sides, and beef brisket and chicken, turkey breast. Some kind of bird breast. So turkey breast, so we're, I, I got those. I didn't want to get pork, so I wanted her to try that as well. So uh, she's from, she's a mint. This in, and um, we don't argue. We're in public, but we're on. Uh, oh, they got pizza here too. Barbecue pizza. Oh, they're gonna add them. Add them. Rich. Well, Adam Richmond. He's the one I like best on Man vs. Food uh, since he was original. They got some kind of thing tribute to him here for fifty-six dollars or something. It's like a big meal. I asked them if they had a challenge. They said no. But the owner might get with me and see if we can do some kind of promotion just to just to video it and uh, what it's about and everything. So maybe. Uh, but we're gonna wait for a food. Um, and I'll let you know how it tastes uh, after I show you the pictures, uh, the videos of it.
God, this rookie's still eating. Look at all the food she has left. Mine's empty. I'm sorry, I don't swallow my food. Like, well, what, what are you thinking so far with this Memphisian? Really good? Okay, you heard it here first. It's really good. Maybe we'll talk in the car about it more, huh? I'm gonna let her eat. Yeah, I'm gonna let her eat. Okay, she's trying to be nice about it. Well, guys, I thought that was a really good, really good turkey breast uh, and uh, br uh, brisket. Uh, the uh, corn was really good. Corn was really good, and the potato salad was good. I put a little salt on it, uh, but it was. Uh, very tasty it had like red potatoes and or red onions in it and potatoes so um, she doesn't eat cold pasta cold stuff like that so I didn't offer her that she didn't even offer me any of hers I had to ask a hint to her hey are them green beans garlicky I told you when, when we got the food it was warm don't be on camera I don't lie on Sundays, so they know that. You guys know I do not lie on Sundays. No, it's a special Sunday. It is because I get to sit and eat with some pretty girl. Oh, now you gonna turn it around? Now I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> not like I'm not like that. I don't swing like I don't swing like that. I'm um I am at. Dick's Sporting Goods. So you can say you can say Dick's because I'm talking about the, the um, store. But speaking of Dick's, um, they have guns in there. See, she just thought I was going to go the opposite direction. But um, no, they have guns in there, and I'm trying to get another P320 nine millimeter Sig Sauer. Um, so I'm going to see about the prices and order those. But I want to talk about the um, food we just ate real quick. I'm going to give this, like, I'm going to be difficult. 8.6 out of 10. Instead of 8.5. You're not going to be different. What are you thinking? Memphisian? It's up there. It's up it's there. Like a 8 or a 9. 8 or a 9. Okay. 8 point or <laughs> dash <laughs> it was 9. It really good, though. Okay. But like it was even good without without adding sauce to it. Yes, she said. Um, she. Oh, speaking of sauce, sauces in Hillsborough said. Oh, I already said that. Never mind. I'm getting old. But okay, let's jump back. Um, speaking of. Why are you jumping like I was gonna hit you? Um. She said. Somebody, I'm not going to say she, because somebody other than me said that they liked the, what was that you had, that the person had that Burnt was eating ends. beside me. Burnt ends tasted better here than at the Beast in Illinois. Um, they did. But this, this, the uh, they, Pappies. They up there, Pappies is up there with. Um, so, a Memphisian, how... How would you rate the barbecue at that place at the barbecue in Memphis? The, like you, like what? you just like you're still in Memphis. That's Memphis style barbecue. Oh, yeah. That's what they said. So if you if you walked into there like, hey, I'm still in Memphis. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, they didn't lie about that. The owner was pretty nice too. So. Uh, okay. Other than that, we're gonna go do this. And hit the movies. We're gonna go see Gentlemen. It's about somebody that wants to stop selling weed. I can relate. <laughs> no, because I wanted to stop selling some other narcotics in the past. Crack, okay, people, I'm going to tell you. I wanted to sell that. I wanted to stop. I'm, gonna tell you, I'm not going to get off into it, but I wanted to stop. So, just a quick story. So, these crackheads I had in my car, I said, hey, I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to stop selling crack. And no, this is a real story. And I had this conversation with a crackhead. Like, yeah. You letting crackheads help you make I'm like, no, decisions. no, you're not you didn't even hear the story yet. Okay. So I'm like I'm like, hey, Tony. Yes, his name was Tony. I'm not gonna say his last name because I'm not a a, a, a CE. Um 
pronounce a C-E? I don't know, but they say it all the time. A C-E? Informant, confident informant. Or C-I? C-I. I don't know, see, I'm not a snitch. I don't even know how to call them. But, um, but Tony, I was like, hey, Tony, um, I'm trying to stop selling dope. And he looked at me weird because he still probably wants to smoke dope. So I'm like, uh, I'm having a, uh, I'm not having a baby, but my daughter is about to be born. So I need to get out of this field. I'm not going to go to jail and have her call somebody else daddy. So he goes, oh, my grandfather works at the Soja Warehouse. So... I said, oh, okay. He went to go inside and to get an application. He went, no, I'm not. This is a true story. He went inside to go get an application. He comes running out. This is how old this is. He comes running out with a JVC VCR with the cords hanging. Yes. So I said, jump, get in here. So I, he jumped in the car and, uh, yeah, the cops from Toj and Cahokia was at my house. Trying to, I said, look, I'm not going to lie to you. I gave him $20 for it, but I'm going to tell you what. This is what happened. I went inside to get an application. He came running out with VCR. I said, I'm not going to tell him to go hook it back up so he can go. I said, just come on. But then I said, yeah, I was stupid. I bought it for $20, but I gave him, I gave him a little $20 for it. But uh, that was a true story. This is a true story, people. I can't believe some of the stuff you did. It ha I didn't do it. He did it. I said, let's just go. You're not gonna say, go together. I, I'm for serious. For real. I'm for serious. So that's how, you know what they remind me of. I said, I, I'm trying to get a job. You and that coconut. That coconut. So now I'm a crackhead <laughs> to the coconuts. <laughs> Where did this twist just come from? Because you said you didn't have nothing to do with it, and that's what I said. Oh, so you're he, the person trying you, to sell dope, trying to stop store. selling dope. I'm the crackhead with the coconut. Okay, I see where she's getting at with this. See, you didn't snitch on him. You was just like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay. There you go. Okay, well, that story just out of left field for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Keep watching. You, I don't know what I'm going to say either, so. I can't believe Stop you fast forward. I did. Yeah, there was more to the story after that too. Why did you send a crackhead in the store to get an application? He, she's not even she don't even listen to me. He's you here's what happened. Went in there and got it. No, his grandfather worked there, so he could probably give me an in there. Like I understand it. If I come in he don't know me, but he knows him. Probably would have been worse. I don't I know don't if he's smoking crack. Yeah, I, was just gonna say, I, don't I didn't think like that. I just thought, you know him. Let's get a job. His granddaddy thought she was one of his Look, I friends. meant well. I meant well. <laughs> you thought she was a crackhead. <laughs> no, I meant well. He probably didn't have a grandfather who worked up there. He just tricked me into going up there to... Cause uh, I, he probably was Because his nephew, his nephew actually tried to get me. I said, because he let me borrow fishing poles one day, right? I, said, I like to go fishing a lot. I didn't have the any fishing poles. No, the crackheads, actually, he smoked crack too. His you just nephew. On the whole family. No, his nephew. His nephew smoked crack too. I said, "Hey, I'm not gonna say his name." I said, "Hey, let me." Um, I'm pretty sure folks that know you know who you're talking about. Well, I think he might watch. He's on <laughs> Facebook. He's a Facebook friend. Well, sorry, this is a true. You know, this is a true story. If I'm talking about it and you're watching, but I'm not saying I'll say your name. You're welcome. But I said, "Hey, can I borrow some fishing poles?" And um, he said, "Yeah." So I brought him back, put him in the back of his grandmother's house. And then, the, as soon as he saw, hey, would you, where the, where the fish boat? You didn't bring him back. I, I know I brought him back. He just wants some crack for it. I didn't give him nothing for it. But guess what? Coming to this, I know he goes, hey, I got some tools at this place. They're not home right now, but just he wanted to use my truck. It was a whole truck full of compressors, everything. Yes, he thought I was stupid. He goes, hey man, just uh, just come drive uh, drive over here so I can get all my tools. He goes, uh, I got uh. The garage is open. We don't need. We just uh, get all my stuff. He left it open for us. Like, yeah, I'll be back with you. Okay, let's get this gun. Speaking of all this, the crackheads everywhere. Crack you, you need a gun. Ghetto, you need a gun. Driving in a lot of scenarios. I didn't even do that one because I knew about. I like. You know what? If he says, "Hey, I'm gonna get an application from this person," I probably take him. He should have used that one. Okay. <laughs> Let me get in here. Well, no handguns today, guys. They uh, the location. You just said they never ha you carry the the guns here, the handguns. No, we okay. Don't carry handguns. They don't carry handguns here, and I'm not doing the shotguns or anything right now. 
So, uh, all right, I appreciate it. Yep. So I'm gonna probably go to another location and uh, check that out. Hey, guess what location I need to go to now is JC Penney's to get three free samples of cologne if we have time. Oh, look at these. I'm a fan of both these colors. I like that for my logo. And I like, I always like burnt orange or orange color. I got some Bluetooth. You got your other Bluetooth? Oh, you don't got it in. But she has a Bluetooth that's like a lime greenish color. Yeah. So, but I, I got the orange and she got that. So I got the orange ones on the way. Uh, so I can't hear good, so that helps me out. Okay, let's get out of here then. No dicks for me. And please guys, remember the name of the store is called Dicks. That's why I said no dicks for me. No dicks handguns. You guys need to grow up. I see if our cats are in the fishing aisle. She probably, she probably found her way over here. Oh, oh, she's at kayaks. Thought she's gonna be in the fishing. She's close. She's near water. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna be kayaking in coves and stuff. Oh yeah! I got that on my list to put down uh, as waiters. They got burnt. They didn't get to use them yet. Yep. You got both got burnt up. Okay, let's stop living in the past. Why you say that? Ooh, look at that. Put a garbage disposal sign on it. This a fat black. Never been called fat black. <laughs> oh, actually, speaking of brown, they say hey, that black guy. Like, I'm about the same color in the summertime or Planet Fitness tanning bed time. Hey, they only did this color of this, guys, because the bun and the hot dog, hot dog and the hamburger bun is the same color. If you, uh, if you change, the, if you add one more color to this, seven colors, it costs three times to print my logo, three times more. So six colors or less. So I got six. Fun fact, guys, you get tons of fun. Oh, my shoes I just got look just like that, don't they? They're so uh, your Crocs. My Crocs. See, you see how fast I saw that? Yeah, so. Before we get out of here, somebody does not like these animals, and I'm telling you what, she does not like them. And I, I, I messed up in life, and already told her I will never scare her with spiders because she doesn't like what it. What do you mean you messed up in life? I, I, I messed up in life. I already said it, so I cannot scare her with a spider. So, but thinking about getting one of these. These are top waters. They sit there like a bobber, and I'm thinking about rigging something up. And I'm um, having that on top of the water, and then fishing for bluegill at the same time. At the time, at the no. Sorry, I have to say that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. It's it's uh, no. OCD. No, you just blame it on. But have that on sit on the top, and then put a string down to fish for some other fish, but fish for the top water bass and stuff at the same time. Did they get so she she did buy pappies. No, I bought Pepe. She did buy, she did pay for the tickets for the the aquarium and, and the movie. The mo oh, she won't rub it in now. And the movies. So maybe she might, should get a spider. <laughs> so, I'm getting them. I'm going to get two. One for me, one for her. I told him he missed a spot. So now he cleaning all the windows because he want to be smart.
really bring. <laughs> That's what I get for telling him he missed a spot on the window. And he missed the window. So he decided to clean all of them. Extra. Brandon Extra Clark. <laughs> Got back oranges too. You proud of yourself? Yep. Don't forget something. There's a spot right there. That's on the That's inside. inside. Okay. It's still wrong. Okay. Well, that's what I do. Just a little extra stuff. Okay, pulling up at Ronnie's Theater. This is uh, in South County, St. Louis, um, just down the stroke down the road from Dick's and my brother's house. Um, so um, we're gonna go in here and watch gentlemen and I'll let you know when we get out uh, how it was. So I'm gonna leave this camera in the car so I'm gonna bring this whole truck, this uh, selfie stick and everything in. Uh, they think I'm probably videotaping the movie. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, just left that uh, bathroom as you saw. I'm waiting for her. I gave her some cards too to distribute in the lady side. Um, but I saw this Ghostbusters Summer 2020. I already got it on my phone. We will be going to see that, okay? I will be, uh, I got that on my phone already. So when the Ghostbusters comes out, I will definitely be seeing that one. I don't see any, any other ones that I'm interested in to see later. I do got, I think a couple more on my phone. I'm not really sure. Um, what the names of them are though yet I'm old so I just put them on my phone phone and when they pop up about a week ahead of time then I call her and be like hey about to watch this movie so bad boys we already saw that one so I can't think of the other one so I'll tell you guys in the future but let's go into this movie when she comes up out of there what's she doing in there Okay, just left the movies. Um, didn't even talk to her about it because it's raining, so I ran and got the vehicle. So, what do you think? How they did it. It was odd how they did it, but I it liked it. It was a good plot twist, yeah. Yeah, I liked how they did that. Very ending. You couldn't guess, guess what was. Not, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't guess what was going on. But, um, I don't know. Maybe 8 out of 10. It was, it was funny, but not too corny and stuff like that. So. F off and... I can't even say the other word. Punt, but with a C. <laughs> That's the <laughs> favorite words in the movies. But um, really, um, really good movie. So we're gonna um, we're gonna get out of here, go home. So I am gonna call this a wrap because I got to go live. So check out last Friday's live. It was like a two-hour live, two and a half-hour live almost. But it was a really good live uh, unboxing of mail. Got a few more to do tonight, so Sunday. So check that one out. Uh, so that was the. Uh, Seventh and on the ninth, those lives. Oh, watch out! She's gonna I'm run somebody over. On Uni Oh, there's a unicorn running across the street. You don't see him often. <laughs> okay, well, thanks guys for tuning in. I appreciate it very much, and um, we will. Uh, I probably will see you tomorrow. She might. She's leaving tomorrow, so you might uh, see her leaving. Maybe. So, I'm almost gonna cry. So I gotta go. Ta -ta. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X. 
uh, only in black right now so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that uh, i do have uh, t-shirts as well the name brand of the t-shirts are canvas uh, they are thick they are soft the logo wipes off like a bib just like on the hoodie so if you want those please check in descriptions uh, they all are pre-washed material so they won't shrink on you so check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that because I do ship in US and in Canada if you haven't already um, hit follow on the garbage disposal on Facebook and follow me there you get more pictures and stuff uh, please subscribe to my page hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos and hit the like button if you like it other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day, unless you made other plans.